Hi, in this video, this is the third of three videos in this series, my revised series on creating the passenger section. Um, in this video, we're going to go ahead and add some the, the T9 logo to the side. We're going to emboss it and make it look really cool, and we're just going to color things. I'm going to teach you how to use the color filter, which we haven't done before. So that's the point of this video. In previous videos, we'd already gotten so far as to draw this shape, including the extrusions in the front and the fillets. The extrusion in the top and its fillets and the extrusion in the back and its fillets so if you want to see that stuff in action you'll go watch the first two videos of this series okay all right so here we go we need to add t9 here just to make it look good okay the t9 auto blocks vehicle is what we're drawing so what i'm going to do first we're going to use the emboss tool but in order to use the boss tool emboss tool um, emboss by the way is kind of like it's very similar to an extrusion but it's really uh, more, more for text okay I need to have some text there first. In order to do that, I need to place a new sketch on the side here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to add the text tool, which is right here. And I'm just going to click anywhere. It doesn't really matter where. I'm going to type in T9. Okay? You can type in something different if you really want to, but T9. Okay? If you didn't like where you placed it or if you wanted different sizes, you can always go and right click and choose OK. And I can come over here and drag it to a different location. You know, if I wanted a different spot. Or if I wanted to make it bigger, I could double click on it and highlight this and change the text size to like 0.125 if I wanted to. It's just going to make it a little bit bigger. It doesn't really matter, but that's how you edit it. Okay? I'm done. I have all the text that I want. So I'm going to click Finish Sketch. Now, I could use Extrude, but it's easier to use Emboss because Emboss knows that I'm probably working with text here. Okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on the T9. And it says that it's going to pull it out away from the surface. The depth that I want is the distance that I want to pull it away. In this case, we've decided that 0.02 is a pretty good depth. It looks realistic. And you click OK. And you can see here now I have a little T9 sticking out of the side of the vehicle. That's pretty awesome, right? You can go through if you want to and add it on the other side. I don't really care. I mean, this is up to you. Okay? So now I just want to make this vehicle look good and then we're done with it. There are two drop down menus up here on the top. And the difference between them is, is pretty important, okay? The one on the left is what material you actually want the object to be made of. Changing this will change things like the density of the material, the mass of the material, the strength of the material. Because if I make this out of, say, iron versus rubber, it will act differently. That will be very important if I'm using this in, in, uh, in ways that I'm doing strength testing for later on, for instance, okay? In this case, we want to change the material then to wood. And I don't really care which version you use, but I think birch looks closest to what we actually have. So I'm going to change the material to a birch wood. The right drop-down menu, if you ever decide you want to use it, simply changes the appearance. So you can make it out of wood, but make it appear to look like something else, like cardboard or clear yellow or whatever. I suggest in this case changing it to wood birch. The tool that we use more often, though, is this little color filter wheel right here. Okay, This helps me make adjustments in values like color. So if I want to color something like that T9, if I want to make that stand out, here's the process. I click the color filter. I come and I highlight the T9. Now this is, brings up an obvious point. It's really hard. I just want the T9. Why can't I select just the T9? Okay, So a lot of kids will go through and they'll zoom in as they're starting to learn this. And it's like, man, I, just, I want that, right? Well, here's an easier way then. Instead, just come over here to your browser, click on Emboss, and it's selected for you. Now, the color that it wants to be, I make the adjustment. Now, after I've selected the surface, I'm going to bring it down to straight black here, which is zero red, zero green, and zero blue. I click the check mark, and now I have a T9 that's embossed and looks pretty nice, right? The passenger section is now done. Congratulations, you've got your first piece of your Automoblox T9 completed, and it was done pretty easily. Look at all these steps that we did, but each individual step was pretty simple by itself. Pat yourself on the back, save the file, and let's go on to that next part. 